Hey, what's up YouTube? This is the final of the four controllers. This is the Logitech F310. This one out of all the packages does require you to cut along the edges. Probably the most intense packaging of the four. In general, I'm a pretty big fan of Logitech, especially if it's a product that they produce for a longer period of time. Like their speakers, for example, tend to be pretty good. But just like Apple, not everything they make is gold. Okay, so this is called the rough unboxing. Pull it out. Okay. There's the controller. You get six feet of cord, exclusive four switch D-pad, extensive game support. What's in the box game pad, user documentation? Three year limited warranty. That's pretty nice. I don't think any of these other ones come with that kind of warranty. Again, this one's all in Japanese. So what do you have here? You have the Logitech important information and safety compliance and warranty, and the getting started with the gamepad. So that's there's so the back button is two different inputs and based on what you let's see if you can read this. So based on like which input you have it on, there's the Zin put or input with an X and your direct input. And as you can see here you have your Zin put direct input based on the switch on the back. So X on the left being the in the X input and then D being the direct input. You have shoulders and these are interesting. They're kind of a cross between PlayStation and Xbox. They're, they go in the motion of the Xbox controllers but they're in the position of a PlayStation controller. It fits the hand really well it's not, it's very light though. It feels like it's hollow inside where for example this is like a weighted controller. The buttons click in, they move around. Now the D-pad does go diagonal. That is a big difference between the PlayStation pad. All right, let's give this thing a shot. Fresh boot. It did find a Logitech. Let's go ahead and I do have to say that this controller, although you can kind of go diagonal, it's a complete circle, it's not just a cross. It, the way it's designed, you actually have to push really hard to get into those diagonal spots. Where on the Xbox controller, it's very easy to get into those diagonal spots, almost too easy. So the complaint I was saying with that is a way less of an issue with the, with the Logitech. Okay, let's go into track mode. Let's get this party started. Select button works. Wow, I got wrecked. These buttons are very deliberate. Like when you press it, you're pressing it. There's no there's no guessing, there's no hitting the button next to it. Dang, she's good. Dang. Got her. Nice. So Final Burn Alpha runs good. So Nintendo, here we go. Whoops. Keep using my rocket. It's the airplane that never runs out of bullets. Okay, this works. What? He came up behind me? Okay, that works well. I think we gotta do some Nintendo 64 and some main. So Nintendo 64, I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart, so maybe we gotta play something else. Get ready! Go! So the horn works. Okay, fire is left trigger. 
No one in sight. So this is another system that will use the analog stick. The cool thing about this game is you can just hold down the button. Is that an enemy helicopter? Okay, here's the first spot. Wow. So there you have it, the Logitech F310, is that right, F310? Really cool controller. You know, now that I've been playing with it for a little while, the weight doesn't bother me too much. Um, but a really, really solid controller. I think the biggest downside has no uh, feedback, no vibration inside of it, where the um, generic PS3 controllers and the Xbox 360 controller do. Uh, if you're interested in this control, there'll be a link in the description. If you could like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.